One of the most important aspects of our job in animal care is education, teaching others about the importance of wildlife and their conservation. Today, we get to teach all of you how to become your very own wildlife warrior as we discuss wildlife conservation and energetic ecosystems. My name's Stacy with Six Flags Great Adventure and Safari, and today we are going to introduce you to conservation and talk to you about energy flow through an ecosystem. So, what is conservation? Conservation is basically just preservation. It's defined as the act of conserving, prevention of injury, decay, waste, or loss. Conservation of wildlife is a little more specific. It is the practice of protecting plant and animal species and their habitats. Wildlife conservationists and educators have made it their goal to help ensure the survival of plant and animal species around the world and educate people to live sustainably with the wildlife around them. But why does wildlife conservation matter? And why is a single species so important? To give a one word answer, biodiversity. Biodiversity is the number of populations and the variety of species interacting within a community. This is an important measure of the health of an ecosystem. All species in an ecosystem are interconnected in various ways. Let's take a look at an example of energy flow in the energy pyramid. In the food chain, producers are organisms that can make their own food, while consumers are organisms that need to eat food to obtain energy. Here in this energy pyramid, we have four trophic levels. Each trophic level contains organisms that constitute the same level in an ecosystem. Primary producers, like plants, are on the bottom, trophic level 1. They receive their energy directly from the sun. Trophic level number 2 contains primary consumers. This is the first level of consumers and includes herbivores. Above that is trophic level 3. They are called secondary consumers, which includes carnivores like snakes or omnivores like mice. Trophic level 4 is all the way at the top of the pyramid. It contains tertiary consumers, sometimes known as apex predators, and can be carnivores or omnivores that consume matter from the levels below. The reason this is called an energy pyramid is because it showcases how energy is lost as you move up from the bottom to the top. The consumer at the top of the pyramid has to eat a lot more food than those at the bottom in order to acquire the same amount of energy. 90% of energy is lost from one level to the next in the form of heat. Let's take a specific food chain for example. Grass is a primary producer and it gets eaten by a primary consumer, the grasshopper. The grasshopper gets eaten by a frog, the secondary consumer. The frog is eaten by a snake, which is a tertiary consumer, and the snake is eaten by a bird, which in this example is the apex predator, or top predator, of an ecosystem. Eventually, that animal will die and be decomposed. If one animal along the chain goes extinct, it could affect those that come before it in the chain and after. Now, what is extinction? It is when a species of organism dies out or no longer exists on the planet. Species are deemed extinct if they haven't been seen for 50 years. Species can also become functionally extinct. The northern white rhinoceros, a close relative of the southern white rhinoceros you see here at Six Flags Great Adventure, are functionally extinct in the wild. 
meaning the last ones on Earth are not able to reproduce to continue their species. The southern white rhinoceros, however, is considered near threatened, not yet extinct. This is thanks to a century of conservation efforts to help sustain their population. Unfortunately, like many other African animals, they are not able to safely roam across Africa. Instead, many are found on wildlife preserves or protected lands. But what is causing the decline of so many species? Next video, we will discuss factors of extinction and see what conservation efforts are in place to slow this downward trend. Thanks for joining us and make it a wild day!